Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created auth service and we wrote the code to call the signup user API in our Angular application. And in today's video, we will create login API. And after verifying user email and password, we will generate a JWT token. So let's get started. So in our Spring Boot application, first of all, we need to create two DTOs, authentication request and authentication response. And to do this, we will right click on the DTO package and we will choose new Java class and we will name this class as authentication request. And after this, we will annotate this class with at the rate data annotation to get the getters and setters. And in this authentication request, we want to get email and password. So we will write private and the data type of this will be string and we will name this as email. And after this we will write private and the data type will be string and we will name this as password. And with this our authentication request is completed. Now let's right click on the DTO package and let's choose new Java class and we will name this class as authentication response. And after this we will annotate this with at the rate data annotation from Lombok. And in this authentication response, we need to send JWT user ID and user role. So we will write private and the data type of this will be string and we will name this as JWT. And after this, we will mention private and the data type of this will be long and we will name this as user ID. And at the end, we will write private and the data type of this will be user role and we will name this as user role. And with this, our authentication response is completed as well. Now to create the login endpoint, let's open our auth controller. And in this controller, after the sign up endpoint, we will start writing a new method. And this method will return authentication response. And we will name this method as create authentication token. And after this, in the params, we need to accept authentication request. So we will mention at the rate request body annotation and after this we will mention authentication request and we will name this as authentication request. And in the body of this method we need to verify the user email and password and to do this we need to use authentication manager. But before using the authentication manager, we need to create a bean. So we will open web security configuration. And in this class, we will mention public and this will return authentication manager and we will import it from security.authentication. And after this, we will name this as authentication manager. And in the params of this method, we need to accept authentication configuration. So let's mention authentication configuration. And we will import it from config.annotation.authentication configuration. And after this, we will name this as config. And in the body, we will write a return statement and we will use config and we will call get authentication manager. And after this, we need to update the method signature because this will throw an exception. So let's click on this add exception to the method signature. And at the end, we will annotate this with at the rate bean annotation. And after this, let's go back to our auth controller. And in this class, we need to inject authentication manager. So we will write private final authentication manager and we will import it from security.authentication. And after this, we will name this as authentication manager. And now let's go back to our create authentication token method. And in the body of this method, let's write a try block. And in this type block, we will use our authentication manager and we will call a method authenticate. And in the params of this method, we need to pass username password authentication token. So let's write new username password authentication token and we will import it from security.authentication. And in this, we need to pass email and password. So let's use our authentication request. And after this, we will call get email method. And after this, again, we will use authentication request and we will call get password. And after this, let's write a catch block. And in this catch block, we will catch bad credentials exception and we will import it from security.authentication and we will name this as E. And in this block, we will write throw statement and we will mention new bad credentials exception. And for the message, we will pass incorrect username or password. 
and after this we need to use user repository and jwt util so let's inject these classes and we will mention private final and after this we will write user repository and we will name this as user repository and after this we will mention private final jwt util and we will name this as jwt util and now let's go back to the method and after this we need to get the user details so we will write final and we will create an object of user details and we will import it from core dot user details and after this we will name this as user details and for now let's initialize it with null and after this by using these user details we need to get the user from our database so let's create one optional user and we will import the user from hotel server dot entity and after this we will name this as optional user and here we will use a user repository and we will call a method find first by email and in the params we need to pass the email so we will use user details and we will call a method get user name and after getting the details of the user now we need to create the jwt token so let's write final and the data type of this will be string and we will name this as jwt and after this we will use jwt util and we will call a method generate token and in the params we will pass user details and after this we need to create the object of authentication response so let's mention authentication response and we will import it from hotel server dot dto and we will name this as authentication response and we will initialize it by calling new authentication response and after this we will write if condition and in this we will check optional user and we will call is present method and if it is true then we will use authentication response and we will call a method set jwt and in this we will pass jwt and after this we need to set the user id and user role so let's use authentication response and we will call set user role method and in this we need to pass the user role so we will use optional user dot get dot get user role and after this we will again use authentication response and we will call a method set user id and in this we will pass optional user dot get dot get id and at the end we will write a return statement and we will return authentication response and after this we will annotate this method with at the rate post mapping annotation and for the url we will set slash login and after this let's run our application and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create user details service which we will use here to get the user details and after this we will test our login api